You are now listening to Scheduling Fate, hosted by author and counseling astrologer, Jamie McGee. For more information, please go to schedulingfate.com. Sagittarius, let's take a look at your year. Now, 2024, I think your free spirit and optimistic nature is going to be a great guide for personal change and spiritual growth. Your top three focuses this year are going to be one, root level evolution, two, passions and creative adventures, and three, rituals are your health and your work. As you enter the new year, your spirited nature will ignite a sense of readiness for whatever lies ahead. This will be a great energy to have as Pluto returns to Aquarius. This energy invites profound transformation in your local environment and how you communicate with others. Now, Pluto has already touched this area of your life early in 2023. Pay attention to any reoccurring themes that come back up. Those are clues as to what you need to work with. One of the keys to this energy, Sagittarius, is remaining very grounded and as present as possible when you're communicating with others. That'll help you see what power dynamics need to shift and how you can do that in a positive way. In 2024, the Libra eclipses on March 25th and October 2nd are going to be in harmony with the work that Pluto is doing in your life. The message is definitely to find a healthy inner harmony so that you can be in balance in all areas of your life, even if that means letting go of connections that you once had so there's space and room to grow into new directions. Seeking external approval or blending in with the crowd is not on the agenda For Pluto are these Libra eclipses are definitely going to want you to stand out and be as original as possible. The Aries eclipse on April 8th will add to this same theme. It's going to really encourage you to step out of your comfort zone to go where you haven't gone before, but in a direction that's ready to unfold before you. Another interesting part of 2024 revolves around the foundations of your life. This is where Saturn has been working since 2023. In April, on April 10th, Mars will meet Saturn here. This is strategy and structure kind of colliding in one spot. This energy could easily feel frustrating, especially if you're trying to move something forward, but I want you to sit with it. This is going to be one of the periods of the year where being present is super important. If you're present, you're going to be aware and you're going to know exactly what you need to do to prepare yourself for a launch forward. And that launch will come later in the year when we have a Pisces eclipse on September 18th in this same neighborhood of your life. It's all about new groundwork, new foundations, making sure everything is karmically aligned with your purpose. Now, a high point of the year, your ruling planet, Jupiter, is going to meet Uranus on April 20th, followed by Venus and Jupiter on May 23rd. This is going to be a really potent time. This energy can substantially support your overall well-being, your financial prospects, and it can give you a lot of needed breakthroughs. Opportunities that you thought were decades away are going to emerge and they're going to launch you into the future. One of the best ways to use this energy is being very clear on what your dreams are, what your intentions are, what you want to manifest and how you want to manifest it. On May 25th, Jupiter, your ruling planet, will move into Gemini. It hasn't been there since 2012, but it's going to bring in even more potential for you around your partnerships, your communication style. These are all areas poised for abundant growth and opportunity, and the best way to tap into it is know exactly what you want, which is easier said than done. Sagittarius, in 2024, your wisdom, your instinct, and your truth will be a guiding light. Dial into that, be as present as you can in the moment, and you will be beautifully successful. Please don't forget to pick up your free transit and horoscope PDF guide at astrologerjamiemcgee.com forward slash 2024. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I do hope you found some tips and insights. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can find this podcast in the future. You can also connect with me at schedulingfate.com. Look forward to seeing you there and next time.